Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be reviewing this Revlon um, hair dryer slash volumizer. Um, I've been seeing this on TikTok and it is 4C approved. So I said I wanted to try it out. I don't know if it's thick hair approved. And as you guys can see, I do have a different hair color again, but um, I'm going to be blow drying my hair and I'm gonna see if I wanna do some bantu nuts, but we're gonna see once we get there. So anyways, if you guys are interested in this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And All right, y'all. So this is what the blow dryer looks like. Um, as y'all can see, it is shaped kind of like a white girl brush, so I would say. Um, you have your temperatures right here. I don't know if y'all can see, but you have your temperatures right there. And um, what else does it have? That's about it. But anyways, I'm going to be washing my hair using, I don't know if that's how you say it, but Chia, Chia. Anyways, I have this um, collection and I'm going to be washing my hair using the shampoo, then doing the treatment. This is a protective treatment and then I'm going to be using the keratinous as well. So I'm going to be using this on my hair to, you know, wash it and make sure it's thoroughly protected. And then I'm gonna be washing my hair. So I'm gonna go wash and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so I've just shampooed my hair and took out the infra treatment. So now I'm about to um, spray my hair with this leave-in. This is from She. Put my hair in a section and then we're gonna go from there so i'm about to put my hair up okay so now that i have it in a section y'all can tell it's like a three tone but it's okay because the back really shows so i'm about to spray leave in on it which normally i don't put leave in on my hair whenever i blow dry but since I've, you know, bleached my hair and everything, I say I need to take every precaution necessary. Right now, I'm just going through detangling my hair. Okay, so I split that section in half. And I'm going to do this on um, no. So y'all can see it got it pretty straight. So I'm about to go through and do um, speed it up and do the rest of my head. So the back is done. I'm gonna show y'all. And I, I've been here about 10 minutes. This section right here with the normal blow dryer would took me like 30, almost an hour. Takes me three hours to blow dry my hair. And that only took me 10 minutes. So we're doing good. I heard y'all some on my last little section. I just wanna show you guys. We are working with I had to take me a little break because it started getting hot in here. But I'm about to do this last section and then we're going to, you know, do the last final review.
I did a side part because it was like all over my face. But anyways, let's review this blow dryer. All right, y'all. So it took me about an hour to blow dry my whole head. Um, it actually did pretty good. One thing I will say, um, whenever you're, you know, trying to blow it out, your hands start hurting. My hands hurt. Um, my head from, you know, the pulling and the tugging and all that, head hurt. And I was trying to, like, grip this, you know, when I was twisting it to blow it out. And this top kind of get hot. So whenever you blow dry your hair, make sure you use this little, you know what I'm saying? Kind of hold on to it because if you go onto this black, baby, it's going to burn you. But, and also the whole thing, this whole bottom part kind of get warm. It ain't too hot where, you know, kind of get you, but yeah. And also, it might be because my hands big, but whenever I was blow drying it out, it kept this, where this is at, it kept like moving around. You know, normally, well, it always have it on the handle, so never mind about that. But this kept moving, so it kept going to extremely high and i put it on low but other than that it's a good blow dryer it blow my hair out you know three times quicker than a normal blow dryer and you know you don't have to do the chase method where you get the brush and do that because you know it's like all in one so if your hair is thick and you want to blow dry your hair quick and this actually was only like i think 32 33 dollars so it's relatively cheap. You wanna blow dry your hair like kind of quickly and your hair is thick, get it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's worth the money. We're gonna see how long it lasts because normally my hair gets blow dryers like, you know, three, four times. But as of now, I say it is worth the money. I give this five stars. So yeah, I definitely recommend this. But um this is all for this video um hope you guys enjoyed it hope it was very informative for you guys and um i will see y'all next video